and he was letting me know that it was time for me to come off. I didn't come off the road when he told me to, so I ended up getting terminated, which is perfectly fine with me because I didn't want to be in nobody's truck. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. I got my house after I got fired from trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Fortunate enough for me, I will not be getting back on nobody's road. I'm blessed to be able to stay home, be with my family, be with my children, my husband, and build from here. Being over the road was way too dangerous. And God was speaking to me in too many ways, giving me these dreams. And he was letting me know that it was time for me to come off. I didn't come off the road when he told me to, so I ended up getting terminated, which is perfectly fine with me because I didn't want to be in nobody's truck. I just didn't know how to just let the job go and trust God. It didn't happen the way I wanted it to happen, but I'm glad that it happened. We finally all moved into our new house and we got better things in the works and me being over the road was not gonna allow me to focus on what it is that God wants me to walk in. Trucking is not a part of my journey. It's not a part of my purpose. Trucking was always a stepping stone for me to get to where I'm going. I could very much get a local job, but I, I really don't wanna drive nobody else's truck. I don't wanna drive trucks, period, because that means I gotta be away from home. I love being a wife and a mom and spending time with my family. I prefer that better than being over the road and missing my family. Missing these different milestones with my children. Missing out on actually building hands-on with my husband. If I was over the road, this would not have happened. This house would not have happened. Literally two hours after I got terminated, we got the email that we were approved for this house. It's funny how when one door closes, an even bigger and better one opens up. Bigger and better opportunity. Everything I prayed for has been happening slowly but surely. And now that I have the space that I pray for, we are able to focus on what it is that we need to focus on. So getting back over the road is not in the plans for us. Not part of my purpose. I will not be getting back on the road. And I'm pretty happy about that decision. But thank you for your congrats and well wishes. But we are very, very happy. Shout out to this young lady right here for realizing that trucking really isn't for everyone. It was unfortunate that she was making some procrastinations on whether or not to come off the road. But unfortunately, the, the company that she drove for pretty much pushed her out and said, hey, you know. We, we, we can't have you here no more. And she took that as a sign of, hey, may, maybe this is just not for me. So shout out to this young lady for realizing what is important to her, which is her family. She just recently got married, brought a beautiful house, and got a kid that she wants to spend time with. So she's here to let you ladies know that, hey, you know, trucking isn't everything. It's a stepping stone. And I have said that once before, that a lot of people jump into this trucking thing thinking that they're going to get rich quick, thinking that it's going to change their lives and everything, and only to find out that it is probably more problems caused then more problems solved. You see what I'm saying? So listen, listen, I'm what I'm saying is, is that when you get in the truck and make sure this is what you really, really want to do. And just take note to what this young lady has said. She's not getting back in the truck. And she was like, no, 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 no. I tried it. I see where it took me. It's not taking me to where I want to go. And now I know where I want to be. 
I want to be here with my family. I want to take time and just enjoy what I have, including this beautiful house that she just got. Drivers, let's get the conversation started, man. I mean, have you gotten to trucking and you just had that that feeling that something wasn't right when you got into trucking and you just said, hey, I'm going to try and keep pushing and pushing and pushing until something actually forces you out of trucking. Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it.